Hey, good morning, Chibbers. So, I've woken up the day after, and I have 92 messages in one night. It's going to take me some time to get through all them, sorry guys. Um, that's Facebook, Twitter, private messages, YouTube, private messages, and YouTube in general. So, 92 messages in one night, that's a record, thank you very much. Now I will reply to them all. But, thermal camera time, because the thermal camera is fun. Woken up, woken up to more problems? Well, not so much more problems, just 18650 life, that's what we can call it. It's quite cold here this morning at 13 degrees, and a maximum temperature of 7 degrees on the second cell. The second cell there is hot, and I touched it, that's like, you know. And let's have a look. It might be a bit better if I turn the light on. So this one is charged, was put in 5,466 milliamp hours. That one's 7, and I touched it again, 7,000 milliamp hours, 6,000 milliamp hours, and 4,374 milliamp hours. Look, I'm gonna put it out there and say, all those batteries are going to be useless. Well, okay. And this one, 8,000 milliamp hours, um, but not quite as hot. Uh, this one's still discharging, so it's doing its thing. This one's fully discharged. Uh, 12.25, however, given the rest of them are bad, I'm probably not going to use that one. And 7.786. So I got a bunch of those batteries last night. <coughs> I'm going to say they're all going to be dead, but that's alright. That's not a problem. Okay, back to last night's videos. Um, hey. Okay, so... We've got a little bit of warmth over there, which ain't too bad on a cold morning like this. I mean, it's not freezing cold. It's not like sub-zero or anything, but it's still nice and chilly. Um, so, a nice big recap on last night. That was my second 1,000 watt load test. Um, I think it went really, really well, actually. I woke up this morning, and after I disconnected the cameras and stuff last night, I had a hundred... <laughs> I'm going to say a 100 watt load still running on the inverter and I decided to leave that load running. Um, the battery voltage bounced back to 20, almost 24 and a half volts. Um, and that was still running this morning. So I had a 100 watt load running all night from 9 o'clock last night to 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> so that was whatever hours that is, I'm not going to work that out in my head, because we all know from last night that I hate maths. But it actually, did another, it actually did another kilowatt of power. So in the end, the total drawdown on the bank in one night was 5.1 kilowatt hours. Um, the first 3.9 kilowatt hours was at 1,000 watts, and the rest was at 100 watts. So that's a pretty cool test. What did I learn with the thermal camera? I learned that the thermal camera... Pro the temperature isn't probably that accurate. Um, it says it's calibrated and all that sort of stuff, but I don't trust the 50 degrees temperature that I was seeing it. If you touch something that's 50 degrees, it's hot to touch. You, a, a coffee or something that's 50 degrees, you can't touch it. Yet I could touch all these cables and I can hold these cables and I could sit there and hold them for 10 minutes and it wouldn't burn my hand. So I don't think for a second that they were actually 50 degrees. But what it did show me is temperature difference, which was really, really cool. Now, if you want to see all the thermal imaging photos that I did take last night, and they were all chucked up there, I don't know, it's Homebrew Powerwall on Facebook. Uh, I will try and change the name to HB Powerwall, just so it stays consistent across all platforms. Remembering I've got Beam, Skype, um, Twitter and Facebook, all with HP Powell or Homebrew Powell, you can search me and contact me or do whatever. Uh, comments, there was a lot of comments last night, I will get through them, I promise. I will try and answer every single one. Um, things I'm going to do differently, well, <clears throat> as you can see, on, I'm going to walk around because I've got laptops and everything pulled apart everywhere. I've got all those completed packs, so there's two stacks there. So there is another, um, let's do the 10 kilowatts worth of energy storage on the bench. Um, 
let's face it, th these battery banks aren't the quality of the one I've got out there in the battery shed. So hopefully combined I'll have 15 kilowatts or thereabouts. Close enough. So uh, moving forward. Next, I may or may not have the thermal camera next week, so I don't know. Um, he said I might be able to have it, which is kind of cool, but I really don't want to put him out because he uses it for work. I don't think it's worth buying my own. I'm probably not going to buy my own, but I have considered it because it is kind of cool, let's face it. Um, so tests, moving forward. I was going to pull down one of the hottest packs and actually just rip off the bus bar and um, do a voltage check from the top to the bottom and all the cells. I decided against that. One, it's a fuck ton of work and I just didn't feel like doing it last night by the time I'd sat there for four hours. Um, in the future, I will do that test. Uh, it might, it, it'll probably with a, bit, with a lesser quality pack than the ones I've got out there because I consider them to be my, my A-class packs. Um, they're all the best cells I've got. Well, in the initial runs anyway. So the next test, I want to do a series of tests. I want to do one more test. So the four hour thousand watt load test, but with all new cables. Now all my cables got hot last night, but they got hot last time as well. I know they were hot. I know they were smaller. Um, I know they were underrated for the job that they were doing. I've always knew that. They were all second-hand cables I had laying around because I didn't want to spend any money. So the next test will be identical to the previous two tests with the same loads. Uh, identical. You can't do ambient temperature and all the rest. And I had a 40-watt light bulb that I didn't have last week. But I'm going to do another test the same with thicker cable. I've got 12 meters of cable coming on Monday and somewhere around here of course I moved it so it would be cleaner I've got I've already got these I just haven't got the cable yet so I got what is they? 8mm hole and 35mm square. And there's 50 of them. So I've already got all them. Uh, they were delivered a couple of days ago, actually. And the cable will be here in a day or two. So I'll do a quick video of me doing all the cables up. Uh, uh, cable management is going to be a big thing. I really want this to look professional and clean. Uh, so I'm probably going to overdo the cables just because... I just want it to look right, especially the end result. End result, I want that shed just looking mint. I just want it a bit of a showpiece, I guess. So that's where we're at. So new cable, same test. And then after that, I will do uh, two packs. No, how about new cable, same test. So that'll be next week. I might try, because I didn't charge the battery last night, I might go down and charge the batteries now, which is going to take a good 8 to 10 hours, I reckon. How about I do a test at, say, 300 watts? Do a test at 300 watts and see how long the battery lasts. I'm going to peg it at, at probably close to 6 kilowatt hours of energy. Um, I don't know, but that'll be another good test long and boring so I'm probably not going to do another live chat. The live chat was awesome last night. Jukart from down the road popped in. I had people calling me and texting me all night and whatever else because a bunch of people I talked on here have got my number. Um, shout out to the bloke Wind and Solar who helped me get my live themes stream sorted. Um, I think there's still a learning curve there. I, probably the qualities of my materials and, and um, internet connection or the upload speed. I got like 35 megabits or 40 megabits per second down, but only one up. It's just Australia for you. So, a test, say three, 300 watt test, that'll be cool. And then I'll do another test with two packs, or even three packs, because I've got three packs almost done. And I'm starting on my fourth pack. I've got 
160 cells tested for the fourth pack. So if you've got any other tests that you want me to do, feel free to ask because I want to test the shit out of everything. And one thing that we did test out last night and um, what all a lot, an awful lot of people were saying is those bus bars get hot. No, the bus bars don't get hot. The bus bars don't even get warm. The connections get warmer, but as you would expect, you would ex if they didn't get warm, well, you know, and I say warmer, you can't touch them and notice the difference, but you can see the, the thermal difference on the imaging camera, but there's no, there's no touchy feely difference. You can't feel the difference. So what else? That's about it. Thanks for last night, guys. I'm going to sign out now. I'll try and edit out all the arms out of my videos because they are driving me crazy because I sit here and I don't think about what I'm going to say. I just sort of diarrhea all over the camera. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you. This is going to make for some crappy video. But I thought before I started charging this bank back up again, um, it's like 7 a.m. in the morning, freezing cold. I'm going to do some temperatures. Now I can't hold this and show you at the same time so I'm just going to have to scream it out at you and you're going to have to trust me. Um, okay, 3 3.63 3.530 3 3 3.4 3.4 3.490 and 3.61 total bank voltage 24.23 so that's the the resting voltages of all the batteries we can see that one there is fairly seriously low compared to the rest um, not overly concerned about that I guess a little bit of fettling with the the loads and stuff like that and it was a very heavy load four hours at 1000 watts and then at least another 10 hours at 100 watts so that was quite the test so time to start charging this back up again and um i'll probably gonna have to put another battery balance on it to get these batteries back up to um all nice and balanced again i got my bms crap city so i'll throw that on but any questions feel free to ask them below and if you haven't already subscribed I'd appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Thank you.